Hello everybody, Vigog here, and today we are going to review a mod. Now, this mod is called uh, the Water Shader mod, and obviously, it shades your water. So, basically, a couple awesome features about this mod is that it shades water, and it looks amazing. So yeah, I can see through the water better than usual. And it's beautiful. I mean, just, just look at this. Oh my goodness! I can even see my own reflection. Look at myself. I'm freaking beautiful. I'm a, I'm a beautiful man. Oh my goodness! What do we got going on here? I didn't even see. I just loaded up this world, and I have not explored it at all. See, see what happens when you use the water shader mod. You get amazing, amazing stuffs. I hate that sound. Anyway, yep. Water shader mod. A couple things about it. It'll make you lag like crazy. Unless you have a super good computer. Like, my normal FPS is 600 or 500 to 600. And now it's like 200 and something. So, it kind of sucks in that way. But it's pretty worth it. Pretty much worth it as long as you have a good computer. Now, it does have some incompatibilities. Like, for example, um, it will not work for Optifine for some reason. I don't know why. My phone is ringing. I'm not answering that. Um, anyway. Uh, yeah. It is incompatible with, like, I think about six mods, maybe more. I'll have the link in the description so you guys can go check that out. But I know Optifine isn't because... I remember that only because... Yeah. That I, I used to use that. Or I, I do use... Well, I, I didn't used to. Yeah, I guess it would be I used to. Because I don't use it anymore because I like this mod too much. And so, yeah, um, don't even try it. It just derps, loads. So anyway, uh, but yeah, link in the description. After this segment of the video, the other segment will be an installation guide because while it does use some of the traditional mod uh, installing tactics, it does do some different stuff. So that boat had a baby. Anyway, it does have some new stuff, which is, it's fairly simple, but just in case you have absolutely no idea, I will show you. Ah, 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 jive, pig, jive, ha, 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 two meats. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching this segment. Next segment's going to be installation. You can watch it if you want. I really don't care. F10 or F9. Derp. Hello, everybody. This is the installation part of the Water Shader mod video. Okay, so basically, here's what you got. You got your .minecraft folder, and you got your Water Shader mod folder. So when you download and you open it, this is what you should get. Now, what you want to do is you want to double-click on Water Shader, and you want to double-click on Minecraft, okay? Now, oh, please note, you need Mod Loader for this to work, so you probably already have it if you've downloaded a mod and installed it. So, yeah, just you have to have mod loader for this to work so basically that's it so double click your bin and then open up your minecraft with winrar now i've already done this but there should be a meta inf folder uh, just go ahead and delete that it may or may not already be gone just go ahead and take it out it should be like right in here in this area so all you want to do is get these files and you want to drag them into there and yeah you just want to hit OK I've already done this so I'm going to hit cancel but you hit OK so that all the class files will go into your Minecraft jar after that exit out of this pane and go back one until you're onto the shader uh, <clears throat> folder what you want to do is you want to get this shader folder and you want to drag that directly into the bin folder not into the Minecraft jar, into the bin folder. So, yeah, and that's where it is, okay? That's all you have to do. Then you just exit out of both of these and run Minecraft as usual. So, yep, pretty simple. It shouldn't, like, mess up anything unless you have one of the incompatible mods, which is, again, on their, uh, on the Water Shader forum page. So, again, that link will be in the description. Thanks for watching, everybody, and, uh,